Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are on part 11 of our beginner scripting series talking about leader stats today. Let's not waste any time and let's jump right on into it. Once again, let's go ahead and insert a new script into service script service. I'm going to call this script leader stats. First off, what are leader stats? Leader stats are those little leader, oh, well, they're leader stats. Up in the top right hand corner of Roblox games, you'll have these coins or money or whatever you want there. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do it and then you will uh, hopefully if you don't understand yet you'll understand then so let's go ahead and start let's say game.players.player added colon connect function player so this is another player added function so whenever a player joins the game we'll say local leader stats equals to instance dot new folder so leader stats is always going to be a folder and we always want to instance it whenever a new player joins so it's a brand new folder and each player is going to have their own leader stats folder and it's going to be inside of them so we can say leader stats dot parent equals to player now this is very important to have a separate leader stats folder inside of each player in your game and we can say leader stats dot name and this is very very important you set it to a string and leader stats with a lowercase l. Otherwise, it's not going to work. This is how Roblox is built in leader stats. Okay, now that we have that going, let's go ahead and insert some coins or something like that. So the way we store these is by storing int, bool, or string values. These are game objects that hold our different variables and va value types that I showed you. Remember these int value, bool value, string value, all those? We can put those inside of our leader stats to store data. So for example, let's, let's, in, let's make a new item called coins. We can say local coins local coins equals to instance dot new and this is going to be an int value this is going to be an int value because coins is going to be a number they're going to have a certain amount of coins it's going to be a number not a string right so we can say coins dot value will start it off at zero so equals to zero so when they first join the game they will have zero coins and we can say coins dot name equals to coins so we're going to set it to the game object's name to coins and we'll say coins dot parent equals to leader stats. So now if we go ahead and join the game, we can see in the top right corner I have this new item next to my username called coins and that's going to be able to hold however many coins I have in the game. Okay, but now let's go ahead and change that value. Let's go ahead and inside of our leader stats script insert a while loop. So after this coins equals instance.new all that stuff, we can say we'll say while true do so forever and ever we're going to do this. First, we'll wait two seconds. So every two seconds we're going to do something. And we can say coins.value equals to coins.value plus five. So every two seconds we'll give the player five coins. Let's go ahead and hit play again. And if you look in the corner, every two seconds we're getting five coins forever and ever. And it's just going to keep going up and up and up. So that's pretty nice. And if at any point you're having trouble with these scripts in this series, I recommend you join my Discord server and ask people in the community how you can fix your scripts. I actually completely redid my Discord server recently. I added fun bots, music, giveaways, a new leveling system, and more. So make sure you join that server. We're getting close to 200 members, so once I hit that, I'm planning on either doing a Robux or a Nitro giveaway. So make sure you join that Discord server. Link in the description. And now back to the video. So how can we change this externally? We don't always want to give them coins whenever uh, just in this one script. Maybe we want to give them coins when they um, when they touch a part or something like that. So let me show you something real quick. I mentioned that every player has their own leader stats folder inside of them, and I just want to show you where I get that. So if you ever want to change this manually, what you can do is you can go into Studio and hit Play and click this button up here that says current client this will switch you to the server we'll talk about this more pretty soon but the reason you want to do this is because there are two things called clients and servers and servers basically replicate to the whole uh, to everybody but again we'll talk about that more soon so if we look inside of my player there's a folder called leader stats and if we look inside of there we have a value called coins that's gradually increasing now we can click this and change it ourselves maybe we want to change it to something high like a really high number like that and if we click current server again it'll switch us back to the client and we now have 1.2 million coins or however many you put there so that's how you can change it manually but next how can we change it through a separate script? I'm going to go ahead and insert a part right here. I'm going to anchor this and I'll go ahead and scale it up. 
And what, what's going to happen is we're going to click this part, and every time we click it, it's going to give us some coins. So I'm going to move this over here real quick, and I'll just go ahead and call this coin part. And inside of here, we want to insert an object called a click detector. What this does is, it'll, is it allows players to click 3D objects, okay? So now inside of our click parts, let's insert a script. And what we can say is script.parent.clickDetector, right? Because we're saying the script's parent, the coin part. And then we're finding the click detector. So script.parent.clickDetector, and here is a, here's an event for the click detector. It's called mouse click. So we can say dot mouse click, colon connect, function. And then there is automatically one variable that we pass through, one parameter, and it's called player. We can call it whatever we want, but it is the player that clicked it. So we can say if player colon find first child we learned about last that last time leader stats then so if the player if we found leader stats inside that player we're going to give them some coins so we can say player dot leader stats dot coins dot value equals to player dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus and i'm going to give them 20 each time they click and else, if we did not find leader stats, we'll just go ahead and print that out. Print no leader stats, okay? So that is how we can do that. Let's go ahead and hit play. So let's go ahead and come over to this part and let's click it. And if you look in the top right hand corner, you're gonna see that we get 20 coins each time I click this. So I'm clicking it a ton and it's giving me a ton of coins. Now something I wanna show you before we end, this doesn't have to do with leader stats, but it's very helpful. It can be annoying having to write this over and over, how we say player.leadersets.coins.value equals player.leadersets.coins.value. Well, something you can actually do, instead of doing that, if you just want to add something to an integer, so if you want to add to a number, instead of saying this whole thing over again, what you can say is you can literally just say plus equals. Okay, so that would mean player.leadersets.coins.value, and that means it equals to itself plus 20, you can also do minus equals to subtract. So that's just a cool little trick there, um, a little shortcut. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There is more that, There are more things you can do with leader stats, like saving it, but that is not a beginner scripting thing. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video so far, and keep in mind, if you would like to try it out, you can actually use different variables like bools and strings, but most of the time you're going to want to use an int value. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do smash that subscribe button. Thanks again to my first Patreon. Again, join my Discord server, discord.io slash codebro29, and I'll see you guys in the next video.